all right in this video I'm going to run you through uh, the native IT i3 binaries uh, i3 window manager comes along with few binaries or scripts which are pretty simple and a uh, lot of people who might not know about it those of you know about it it's good that you can use stuff natively on i3 window manager okay so this video is targeted for those those who probably using this window manager but not aware of it okay so so jump onto it okay so let me get into my terminal and uh, let me show you what are the stuff basically it has comes along okay if I do see this many stuff provided by the i3 window manager okay so i'm trying to take a pick one by one uh, most most of you already familiar with that while installing uh, this is the uh, the first one is that i3 config wizard this is the command which if you try to install i3 window manager if you want it to run so this binary will get executed which will prompt you to uh, go through specific steps to install i3 window manager properly okay so this is the stuff or in some time you probably wanted to uh, redefine or recreate your window manager from the scratch you might run this one more time so it'll go you through the steps to 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 build your window manager i3 window manager okay so the next one is um uh, I generally do not use it ever. I've been using it for quite some years now. And D menu is the only, but this particular entry, I never use it. Uh, you probably use it. It's just a Perl script to, to invoke D menu. Uh, I don't know how useful is this uh, script or binary because I never use this i3 D menu desktop, although I've been using D menu from the very beginning. Okay, so so I don't know so how useful it will be. So I'm I'm not giving you any advice or information about it. Okay, so you probably have a look at it. Uh, i3 D menu desktop. It provides there is no manual entry. So I'm skipping it for that. So i3 dump block is a kind of stuff which will, uh, if I run, see, uh, it is running, but it, it depends on other stuff also, right? So i3 shm log or something like that. So, which is, which is happened to not enabled by me. So that's why it's complaining. But uh, this is how you get your i3 logs. Especially if you, if you want to send back some uh, bug report to the maintainer, you are better off taking advantage of this binary. Okay. Okay, i3 input is a kind of stuff where uh, you put something to get something. So let me give you a practical example how I think. So I have some entry in my i3 config files. So instead of showing you stuff, uh, you probably get a Okay. 
so this is a line as you can see i have commented out in my i3 config file which i have uh, not using but this is the way it it provide you a prompt uh, it provide you a prompt you need to enter the value of it and it will do that as you can see from the prompt it basically prompt you for the workspace whatever you have open and if you wanted to go to a specific workspace uh, from specific workspace easily instead of hovering through so you can do if you if you give a partial matching letter of that particular workspace it will take you there simply okay so it's a, it's a good thing to have um i3 migrate uh, config to v4 i haven't used it but but as the name suggests it's probably move the old i3 config into a version 4 config okay so i like the naming what michael did so so it's very explicit uh, i3 message uh, again i'm going to show you a example from my config um, see this uh, this is how you, you practically use i3 it's, it's a way of uh, getting a specific command to be executed okay you can see i have two lines which has got i3 message included in that one is to prompt for the from the exit so let me if i do mod shift and x you can see the bar on top that is coming from the first statement what you are seeing on the terminal okay so and the second one is that if i have any scratch pad if i if i press mod control and one say for instance if i if i open up a terminal and if i move it to the scratch pad and now if i do mod control and one it show me that okay so there there might be now you are saying wait you can get it with mod minus right if you push it to scratch pad by mod shift minus because it's only one scratch pad right let me do it for you let me open a, another terminal okay and if i do and if i push this back and now if i do mod shift mod control and one it comes around st stacking you might not see it it's because it's getting hidden now you can see it it's come one at up another uh, I've seen people people have been talking about showing the scratch pad in a fashion but I would like to get a program a uh, probably a simple bash script or Perl script which will allow me to show my uh, scratch pad stuff in a tiling manner like this what I'm show, showing it to you in the in the in my terminal right now but uh, I haven't found it yet I would, I'm expecting it to be happen natively from i3 uh, i3 uh, stuff i mean that it should come bundled with i3 i do not ha want to hop into a third party stuff to or third party binary to get this stuff done these are the so or probably it might be doing but i haven't yet discovered or know about it okay if but having said that, I do not have a lot of stuff in the scratch pad. I do not want to clutter my system because people have a notion it's a, it's a damn good thing to have scratch pad and stuff thing, uh, put things there. But having too much scratch pad is not a good way. Whatever you do, whatever people say to you, you are not understanding the implication of having things open behind the scene, which still gobbles up the resources. If it is not lightweight and i have seen idiot people there they're putting a lot of high resource stuff in the scratch pad and say oh it's in scratch pad. damn damn it it's it's it gobbles up your resources too so having only the minimal stuff in scratch pads scratch pads is a facility to have quick things done it should not be there forever right so i don't know it it depends on people understanding and notion so 
all I wanted to say, I would like to have something native about from i3 window manager to show the scratch pad if I have opened 3, 4. Uh, more than one scratch pad, it should show me in a tiling fashion so I can choose from it instead of coming one after another. There should be a native way. Okay, either I haven't found it out or I don't know it. So, so that's, uh, that's, uh, that's the utility probably I'm looking for. Okay, so anyway, and uh, you can see there are um, uh, i3 nagbar is the bar which will show you. See, this uh, this is the stuff. Uh, if you if you made a mistake in your config, the 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 stuff uh, will show you show config or show error button with the red bar that's i i3 bar okay that bar which will show you the and giving you the prompt that you want to see the error or you want to go to the config file for error these are the pretty normal things so every i3 window manager user might have encountered sooner or later if they made a mess of their configuration file which i did quite often so i'm confident that it is coming from there i3 safe tree is another kind of thing i least used uh, but it is a kind of thing saving the layout probably if i can get a uh, safe tree okay so save the layout tree yes uh, i tried once it's saving the say if you have a particular workspace which is crammed up with a different uh, program and you wanted to save that particular layout for future use you could do so but uh, what uh, stopping me to use that or if it's absolutely my my lacuna it's not a it's not a problem with itf ml safe tree okay so uh, i tried once or twice but it didn't work out properly so the point is that it helps you to save the layout whatever you have in the workspace as a json format so you need to add something by hand as if i read the documentation correctly i might be wrong now if i'm wrong please do let me know in the comment section that uh, is something has changed when i read it in the i3 doc and i tried it that it suggested it to uh, hand <clears throat> uh, handed it the some stuff which is it is saving in json or something like that which is which is uh, which i don't think so convenient i'm probably wrong again i'm saying it was my experience things might have changed uh, and i haven't tried it off yet. but this these things are there and comes natively if you if you are that kind of person that you want to save some layout uh, on specific workspace and wanted to have it every time you open i3 window manager so you could have it it, it could be easily run and the it, layout will be inflated okay it's damn easy it it this these things make life easy for some people who are accustomed and come from other stuff where they layer a lot of things i don't so the utility for for this is quite minimal for me but it's but it's a good thing to know that you know the things are there which can help you to manipulate stuff easily okay so uh i3 sensible editor and i3 sensible pager and i3 sensible terminal all three of them are almost equivalent program uh, if I can show you uh, these are basically a uh, i3 way of uh, choosing your editor your terminal your pager okay it crammed up with a lot of uh, common stuff into a into a into a script so and it it takes the precedence of the of the of the mentioned program so the moment you um okay so it looks like this so you can see the editor are listed but so whatever whatever your system have so if you if you set it in visual and editor it will it will take advantage of it okay so you you can use this 
uh, script as as to con as to use for the configuration and all this stuff. Similar way, you can get the pager stuff. See, it's been it's been mentioned. What are the pager list most W three M P G whatever you have. Okay, similar way, if you have the terminal, which is the most interesting. So by mod uh, enter will bring up a terminal in i3 window manager right so this is the stuff this is the this is the where you enlist all your um terminal emulator and the series matter series matter in a, the way you put up it it search through one by one okay so x the first one only dedicated probably the as the man page says, uh, Debian and variant of it, the rest of the things can be available somewhere else. Uh, I personally use ST everywhere and no other terminal, to be very honest, exclusively ST. So, so the, 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 as I said, the, 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 uh, what I say, the series matter, the, and the, the position matter how do you how do you place your program in the in the zare okay so uh, as i said uh, editor i3 sensible editor i3 sensible pager i3 sensible terminal almost identical program for different to choosing a terminal to invoking a terminal in i3 way invoking a pager in i3 way invoking an editor i3 way okay so these things comes default with with the IT window manager so you can natively use it think about it you don't have to call up the specific binary or something like that so you can if you are running IT window manager you can take advantage of this program to get things done very easily okay if something is missing it will opt for a next one which is available in your system okay so i'm i'm hoping you are following me well okay so these are the assisting program i can say okay so these are the assisting program which will assist you to get along with the it window manager okay um this is what probably the uh, developer or maintainer of the of the i3 they 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 thought out that this this game, and it is helpful these are very helpful i've been as i said i've been using a lot of stuff out of this and few of them i haven't found the utility and few of them and one or two i probably haven't tried because i don't feel the necessity of it, it your case could be quite different I'm, I'm i'm explicitly telling my guess so so don't judge okay so uh, so this is what I, I wanted to show you because uh, people probably people should know uh, I'm doing i3 window manager related stuff here it, it can it could be applied to broader sense to any damn thing you use on computer it probably your editor you probably your operating system it probably your, some other program you are fond of or quite frequent so if you are lean on something uh, that the basic idea behind this video is to is to give you a kind of a sense that if you are lean onto something you are bound to dive deep into it for the sake of your betterment because that the more you come to know about it it's better for you to understand what you are doing the moment you understand what you are doing things become much more easier so it's become easier for the people to to explain it better or make things better right so I hope this this small video will help you or gives you some sort of heads up or or entertain you or encourage you to look into your your favorite stuff whatever you are using on your computer okay thanks for watching